What up guys, we out here GT16 paintball. But if you close your eyes. What is up guys, so I'm going to be back with a video today. So I haven't made a video in a few weeks. And to be perfectly honest, there's a fairly good reason for it. I've been sick, which you can probably still hear. And I've had a lot of schoolwork to do, and just it, it's been hard for me to get a video out. So we're gonna start with the pole drill. This is actually one of the best pole drills I think I've ever got on camera. Pretty good. Also, uh, I've upgraded my uh, equipment. Um, I'm now using a Blue Yeti mic, which means that the voiceover should sound a lot better. Now here we're gonna be doing a little snap drill, and I forgot to turn my loader on, but um. One of the things I notice when I watch this is that I'm totally just like pushing my gun out instead of actually snapping using my core. And I would be a lot better off if I had actually like engaged my core and used more of my core muscles instead of just pushing the gun out. That's a great way to get your loader shot and just not be able to see what you're shooting at. Yeah, so I could have done that better. So now we're going to be snapping on the snake side. I shoot my bunker a lot, I notice. Sometimes like my gun just doesn't get up far enough. I think I did a better job of actually engaging my core a little bit on this one. Uh, maybe not quite as well as I should have, but I think I did a little bit of a better job on on this one than I did on the previous uh, snap drill. So next week, the goal is to put out a 100 subscriber Q&A. So I hit 100 subscribers over the little break that I had where I didn't upload a video. And to celebrate, I kind of want to do like a Q&A. So I'm actually going to be putting up a thing on Facebook asking... Uh, asking uh, what kind of questions you guys want answered, but um, yeah, you guys can also leave uh, some questions that you want answered in the comments. So this is a one-on-one, -on -one, um, just one ball, one-on-one, -on -one. You pop out your bunker, shoot one ball, go back into your bunker. Uh, here I'm going to lose them a little bit, so I'm going to see an opportunity to move up to this little can, and I'm going to try to battle them here, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. And I'm going to try switching it up, and somehow, right there, I shot him. No idea how, but I did. So now we got some actual points going into the snake insert bunker, gunning up to that corner, make sure that corner guy's put in, switch to the inside, make sure those uh, those further inside guys are uh, taken care of. I'm not sure why I switched my gun here, probably shouldn't have, probably should have stayed on that co uh, the snake corner there. But uh, here, my, my job is just to contain, and I tripped and fell. I actually, like, core sampled almost and stabbed myself with my tank in the stomach. Uh, don't recommend throwing your gun like that. I was just trying to, like, get into the bunker without getting, like, roasted. But, uh, yeah, right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recover. I'm going to get myself back up, and I'm going to go right back to shooting. And right here, I'm just trying to put those inside guys in, try, try to get some shots in on them. And I don't know why I do that with my gun sometimes. It's just, it's not the right thing to do. You just, you sh there's the odds of you needing to do that are so slim that you shouldn't, it should not happen. But here I'm still working on that inside. I'm not shooting. I'm just getting my fingers ready just in case somebody pops up. I'm waiting on somebody. Jonathan, watch my outside. I also want to take a second to apologize for any possible uh, audio problems. This is my first time using this microphone, so if it sounds weird or, or whatever, it's because I don't know how to use it that well, so I'm still getting used to it, so there's that. So here they sent me up to the W, so the other team had been sending somebody to the W every single point, and they said, alright, go up there and just bunker that guy out. The one point they didn't send somebody, yeah. So I went up to the W the one time they didn't send somebody. So now I'm going out to the snake corner, gun to the corner. Put my put my mirror in. Try to look on the inside. See if there's any inside guys. Right now I'm trying to keep two guys in at the same time. Right here I drop my gun. I'm not sure why. Uh, there's really no reason for me to drop my gun here, even though I don't see anybody off the top of my head. Um, because all that does is now I now if I see someone I have to bring I have to take time to bring my gun up, which is counterproductive. It's just not doesn't make sense. So that's one thing I definitely need to pay attention to keeping my gun up. And pointed downfield uh, because there's really no reason you should ever drop your gun I mean I understand fatigue but you really should be able to hold your gun up the whole point here I'm gonna work with my snake player get him up the field try to protect my D side players at the same time I 
All the while trying to communicate with both sides of the field, try to tell them what's going on. So there, I, I get my snake player up the field, try to try to work on this D side guy. Snake side's pretty much cleared off at this point, if I remember correctly. So we closed out that point. So now gun problems. Uh, I forgot to turn my gun. I forgot to turn my loader and my air on, and it took me a while to realize it. And I don't know why I kept pulling the trigger even running out to the corner. I don't know. I guess it was like an intimidation kind of thing, like I was moving with my gun up, I don't know. Kind of dumb. So I get my air engaged, uh, I have a Pro V2 reg on the old pops, so kind of takes a little uh, elbow grease. But finally I get it engaged, try to communicate with my teammates, try to tell them what I see, try to uh, advance the game anyway. And here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep up that communication with my front snake player since I'm playing in the back. Try to tell them what I see, who I'm shooting at, all that. Try to try to keep and, and and I'm dropping my gun again. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Tell him to move up, get him to go. All the while my eyes downfield, trying to communicate with my guy. Try to communicate with the guy at the W. Unfortunately, the communication doesn't get through. He doesn't hear me. I realize there's a guy in that middle Dorito. Communicate that with my uh, my teammate. Constant communication between the back snake and the front snake while also trying to communicate with the other side of the field And we lose our W guy. I didn't communicate that I needed to and right there I'm gonna see somebody crawling up the snake I'm gonna communicate that to both sides of the field to my front snake and my D side players So right here I'm kind of kind of trying to stay posted on that guy just cuz uh, I know he might uh, go try to bunker out my snake player but um I think the D set has him pretty locked down. So uh, pretty soon here, I'm gonna see an opportunity. I'm gonna send my uh, my snake player. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him, hey, go get that guy. And right there he goes, boom, bunkers him out. So now that opens up the field for everyone else. So now like I can I can lean out my bunker way far, like a crazy person, and I can get up and I can go launch down the field. And here I see the last two guys, or at least one of them, and I just throw tons of paint at him just to just to push him into his bunker so somebody on the other side of the field can get him. But uh, right there, he, he gets a chance to put me in. I take it, go back in, pop right back out, put him back in. And one of my teammates is going to come and bunker the last two remaining players on the other team. So, just going to delay here, just sit off the box and, and shoot lanes, and then I'm going to go out to the corner. So right here, my job is to just put those guys in, help my front stick player get up the field. My gun's down again. I, I, I had a lot of issues with that at the beginning of the season. I'm not sure exactly why I was doing it, but I know I was. Um, something I definitely need to make sure it doesn't happen again. So here I'm, I'm I'm not sure why I'm not like I'm not playing paintball like I don't get it like coaches tell me all the time I do this thing where I just don't play paintball I just kind of sit there in my bunker and I'm not sure why but that's what I was doing this point it looks like see a guy walk off communicate that to my teammates uh, let my front snake player know when he can when he can move up tell him to go he goes so I just want to take a second to thank you guys for watching this video feel free to comment like subscribe share this video with your friends. Uh, hopefully I'll get back into my normal uploading schedule and I'll see you guys next week for the 100 subscriber Q&A. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed.